the giant schnauzer or the distinguished gentleman now we're going to get into this breed and also its characteristics but before we get started hit that like button it helps this channel bring more videos like this to you and oh yeah subscribe and I'm your host Ali A. Parker the giant schnauzer is believed to have originated in the Bavarian Alps in the mid 1800s they were bred up from the standard schnauzer and they bred up using a variety of breeds like the Great Dane German Pinscher, Boxer, Bouvier, and several other breeds to get the giant schnauzer we all know today. In the beginning, farmers used these dogs to drive cattle and also as guard dogs. Then after the development of railroads, there was no more need for cattle drive, so the giant schnauzer found new employment with the European police and also military. These dogs even fought in both World War I and World War II. And with all their success, they began to gain popularity in America as show dogs is selling in obedience. The giant schnauzer is part of the working group. Their temperament is alert, loyal, and trainable. The height for a male is between 25.5 and 27.5 inches. The height for a female is between 23.5 and 25.5 inches. The weight for a male is between 60 and 85 pounds. For a female is between 55 and 75 pounds. The life expectancy is between 12 and 15 years. These dogs are very affectionate with their family but they should always be watched around small children and they're only okay with other dogs. The colors these dogs come in is the standard black, black and tan, fine, and pepper and salt. If you plan to get a puppy, make sure your pup is at least eight weeks old to be sure they get all the nutrition from their mother's milk. And good breeders will screen their stock for hip dysplasia, eye disease, autoimmune thyroiditis, and recommended health test is a hip evaluation, thyroid evaluation, and an ophthalmologist evaluation. Now these dogs have a wiry coat, this water resistant, and it's also a double coat with a soft undercoat and a harsh overcoat. They should be brushed weekly and also bathed and nails clipped as needed. And I have videos on all of these things so check out my playlist Dog Hygiene. Now these dogs make great guard dogs and they're also easy to train. And keep in mind if you're getting one that these dogs need lots of exercise. Now that's all for today, and until next time, go have fun with your new puppy.